And just before we leave this, uh, looking ahead over the next, let's say, three years, which I realize is a long time frame in terms of what I'm going to ask you, your biggest geopolitical concern? Um, I actually go back to the piracy. That's my biggest geopolitical concern. And then comes the greenhouse gas regulation that I look at. Martin. But Oh, we, we have a big operation in the Middle East, and of course we are concerned about how that develops, uh, and how it develops going forward. Tor? I, uh, my bet is different. Kind of, I, I just have one hope, that U.S. comes back again, because the U.S. is the biggest economy in the world, and we need U.S. back. We can talk about China and other things, but still the number counts, and you, we need housing prices and the good American Joe to be back in the business again. You, you may have to wait quite a while, I can tell you that. <laughs> okay, yeah, Peter. No, I'm a bit concerned about uh, the U.S. Uh, in the sense that it sends about $1 billion paying for oil, uh, 365 billion dollars a year at current prices to people they either dislike or hate in the Middle East and then they borrow an equivalent amount or more <laughs> from people they're afraid of in China and to me that's not a sustainable business model. I would hate to present that to my board. Okay. Yeah, but you know, um, that's actually changing in the US. President Obama made a great speech in which he said he was going to cut the amount of oil imports down to one third. Guess what? It's already happening. If you go to North Dakota, you see the Bakken coming in. We will probably get two million barrels a day of increased oil production in the United States. And then you get all the oil sands coming down from Canada, and you have ethanol, which will go from 10% to 15%. You could e actually e easily see U.S. oil imports dropping. And, and uh, Tor Ulov can tell you that BLCCs aren't going west anymore. And then don't go into Buckingham either. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> exactly. But, uh, but I think there's only one thing, and that is if Obama has the courage, you know, to put uh, 25, 30, 35 percent tax on U.S. gasoline. So then he would really be remembered as a pretty clever guy. But he will not get it through Congress, and he will be absolutely certain to be a one-term president. But there is no reason why the U.S. should consume 25 percent of the world's oil, uh, and you need to get your taxes up. And back to what you were saying about you know, pollution and shipping, the only effective way to get down U.S. consumption and imports and the trade deficit, with, so I describe now money-wise, is to increase the taxes. Yes, yep. but, but since I'm an American, I can say this, and Winston Churchill said it best, the U.S. always does the right thing, but only after exhausting all alternatives. <laughs> <laughs>